472 Victor, Roger, climbing, your discretion. Hello, folks, thank you. Roger, 06 Alpha, Squawk 0131 and I did. Turkey 06 Alpha, radar contact uh, 30 miles north of Portland, Portland, altimeter is 3003, report Pearson in sight. Alright, 945, we're in turbulence, taxi, position, normal, we're Oh, Call 571, from the back to the land, 28 left, wait at 3106. Ground 346, uh, 501, we're heading for the dead dog, Are we on time, Tom? Yeah. Well, activate the security system. Landing now. You ready? Ten four. What's the big deal about that guy? He doesn't look so tough to me. He's packing a 44 Magnum. He could shoot your eyes out at a hundred yards. It's the other guy that's got the money, so deal with him. There's eight of us and two of them. Let's drop him here. Idiot, do as I tell you. Shoot out the tires, take the bonds, and leave no witnesses. Your ass and seven million dollars are at stake here. How could any bank let two guys carry all that dough in a briefcase? Any jerk could open that up in two seconds. It's rigged with explosives, stupid. Without the right combination, it's all over. Just get me the case, and don't screw it up! Okay, move! Heads up, they're coming your way. We got them. Kiss your ass goodbye. You gonna hit any more parked cars today? Mm -hmm. Funny. You say you don't know how to drive, huh? Oh, sit on it, Frank. Special delivery number 821. Please respond on channel 9. Emergency. Copy. Eight. What is it? Radio's out. Emergency procedures. Now, if we get stopped, I want you to run like hell. The hell with that. I'm not leaving you behind. That's our job, damn it. They'll kill you. Mm. Like hell they will. Get the hell out of here, man. Can you handle it? Yeah, get the hell out of here.
Hold it! Hi, Jilly. Well, aren't you ready yet? No, I'm not going today. Do you and J.D. have an argument? J.D. was in a shootout yesterday. His partner was killed. Oh my God, I didn't know his job was so dangerous. Damn, I wish he'd quit. He went through worse in Vietnam. God, Katie, he didn't have a family then. I'll get it. Hello? Yes, it is. Just a minute. Look, can I take a message? I'll tell him. Thanks. It was the courier service, Julie. JD's got a priority one. Great. Look, you want me to go tell him? I'll do it. JD? There was a call. They... I, I don't like it. What's wrong? Honey, the courier service called. I'm scared. I know something's gonna happen. No, baby, nothing's gonna happen. I couldn't live without you. Julie, you and Kat are the most important things in my life. Nothing's gonna happen. You can work for my father. <laughs> Sell life insurance? Oh, yeah, I can just hear it now. Buy this policy or I'll blow your head off. <laughs> I'd sell a lot of insurance that way. Listen, I've been working for the courier service for four years now, and nothing like this has ever happened. It's a fluke. And besides that, they probably double security. Okay. I'll tell you what. I'll take some time off. And we'll take a vacation. Sound good? Sounds nice. Okay, this won't take too long. Thank you. It's a priority four to San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Then you go to Reno to pick up a priority one, and then back here. I should be back by about 7 o'clock. By the way, Nance, who's my partner on this one? 
You're doing it alone. Great. Sorry, there was no one else. Can't you handle it? What do you think? Oh, and by the way, can I get the rest of the week off, do you think? Uh, no. I'm sorry. You know, I would like some time with my family. Next week, I promise. Okay. The plane will be waiting for you when you get there. That must be the one and only G.D. Hey, Tom. Where to this time? Frisco. And then where? I'll tell you when we get there. Let's do it. Frank's dead. Why did it happen? Knock it off. You weren't looking out for your partner. Hey, I knew Frank a long time. He got me this job for Christ's sake. He knew how to handle himself. His luck just ran out. There is no job worth losing your life for. We're hired to protect our shipments. I mean, what am I supposed to do, Tom? Give him my gun and say, please, don't kill me. Yeah, I'm sure your wife and kid appreciate your dedication. Don't be an asshole. What would they do if you got killed? The insurance would see him through. But who would take care of him? OK, Julie's upset. But how many hijacks have you seen? Three this year. Yeah. And they didn't get the money once, and nobody hurt. Frank. Until Frank. We didn't get hijacked once until this year. There's something going on. Oh, come on. It can't possibly happen again. We're ready for them. People love a challenge. If there's a way to rip you off, they'll find it. And you better be ready for it. Yeah, Tom. 345 Sierra, traffic 2 o'clock, 1 mile, turning southbound. Yeah, she'll be down in a minute. OK. Thank you. Please excuse me. Yes? Carver. He'll be returning tonight with a priority one. I don't want any more senseless killing. I want that son of a bitch. He made me look like a fool. You're not listening, Carver. You lost our men. They were stupid. You were stupid. Had you followed my instructions, we would have had seven and a half million dollars. Now, this is what we will do. I don't think dinner's a good idea tonight. I don't know, Katie. He's been through a lot lately. So I thought I might cheer him up a little bit. Hold on a minute. It's a doorbell. No. <laughs> Just wait. Uh, Miss Blackman, uh, can I come in? I'd like to talk to you about a rather serious situation. Well... It's about your husband. Two six six Romeo. Take my mic on the right chair. Right turn down you. Uh, proceed to uh, Trotdale Airport there for a right statement at about three thousand feet over Trotdale. Six six Romeo. So, anyway, I think I'll take Julie to the coast for a week. That should calm her down. You're an asshole. Get the hell out of this business. And what the hell would I do? You're young. You can do anything. <laughs> Garbage. Anyway, I love my job. Do you love your family? You know I do. Then do it for them. Who the hell do you think I'm doing it for? You, you selfish asshole. Just land the plane, OK? I'm your friend, J.D., just trying to help. Yeah, thanks. But 
No, thanks. Well, watch yourself when we land, huh? Don't worry. Nobody's gonna mess with me. I think I scared them off for good. Blackman, I wouldn't do that if I was you, fella. Not if I was looking down the barrel of 12 gauge. That's your wife over there with a 44 at her head. Now, either you both live or you both die. Simple. Nobody hurt. Nobody killed. See you around. No. Yes, it is. Just a minute. JD? I'm sorry. I can't be disturbed right now. Yeah, thanks. JD? I love Julie, too. I think I know what you're going through. Yeah, I know, Katie. Thanks. It's so sad to see you like this. You know, Katie, she knew something was going to happen. Hello? I already told you I'm not going to bother him. What? Oh, hold on. It's a Colonel Johnson with the governor's office, J.D. He said it's top priority. He wants to speak to you right now. Jesus, it can't be him. I thought he was still in the army. Ask him what he wants. Can I take a message? Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on. He said he's coming up from the Capitol and he wants to meet you at Citadel in exactly one hour. And he said that's an order, Sergeant. To the colonel, as he requests. J.D. Colonel. Sorry to hear about your wife. They were involved, or they know who did it. Then why aren't the police doing something about it? There's no hard evidence. Anyway, there's a good possibility that quite a few of the police are involved in the organization. Organization? fascist society. With terrorism and political blackmail, their goal is the control of government. You gotta be kidding. They control an army. 
They've got to be stopped. Now. Those bonds they appropriated from you are earmarked for the training of their army. You can train a lot of people for $76 million. One man with $76 million? You're reliable. I have faith in you to restore the bonds and take out the organization from the top. I'm not a hired killer. You're a soldier, J.T. An extremely efficient guerrilla fighter. Colonel, this isn't Vietnam. There's laws against murder here. It's not murder. It's war. You'll be covered for all your legal problems. How you deal with the organization is your problem. Colonel, she can't be involved. Prove it. Then how do I go about that? That's your decision. J.D., what are you doing? I've got some people I've got to see. Some business to take care of. You stay here, and you watch Cat. J.D., you're not going to go anywhere with that gun. That's none of your fucking business. Look, I'm going to go call Annie to watch Cat for us. You just got yourself a chauffeur. Hey, this isn't a game, Katie. I want you in the background. You shouldn't be doing this. That's what the police are for. I've been asked to help. All right. You want me to go in and ask around? No, Katie. I don't want you getting directly involved, okay? All right. He hangs out in the strip joint. I'll be back. Drop the bud. You know this guy? Wanna buy a lady a drink? Sure, sweetheart, whatever you want. You looking for a date? I'm available. You know this guy? Uh, no, I don't. 25 bucks for some information. You can look for trouble for you. 25 bucks and you gotta find it. Get your street walking ass out of here. So you're the punk's been asking for me. Think you're hot shit, don't you? Yeah. But you dog meat. And you're a miserable little fuck. You don't come into my part of town and call me names. But I don't hold it against you because you're stupid. And stupid people can't help themselves. So I'm gonna do you a little favor. My friends are gonna take you out back and they're gonna teach you some smarts. You were in on the trout tail heist. I wanna know who ran the operation. Yeah, yeah, I know about it. But it isn't gonna do you any good. I've changed my mind. My boys are gonna take you out, period. And then we're gonna go out front 
And we're gonna carve up that little girlfriend of yours. Put your hands on the table. I'm gonna ask one question, and one question only. Who set up the heist? Ah! Wrong answer, dude. What happened? Did you get any information? Mm -hmm. No, no, he, he didn't have anything to say. This is the place right here. All right, you wait right here. I'll be back as soon as I can. Dinner. Yeah, be there in a minute. Hey, asshole. Save some of that for me. Yeah. Tell you to be quiet? You want me to get Hayden to come back in here? I ain't as bad as he is. Come on. Give me a good kiss. Ow! Uh, you bitch! You bit me! What the hell was that? Eh, probably the boss of some new broad. I'm gonna check it out. Yeah? <laughs> Suit yourself. Set it down. Gently. And a check, right? Ugh. Move! Drop it, man. I'll cut her throat. Go ahead. I'm gonna blow big holes in both your legs. And then I'm gonna leave you right here. You may live a couple of days, but I guarantee you, you're gonna feel every fucking minute of it. Oh God, JD, thank God. Take it easy, baby. 
JD! Drink some of this, all right? There you go. That's it. That's enough. All right. I told them everything they wanted, and they wouldn't stop. Okay. Who was it, Hayden? You tell me where I can find him. Sutter's Mill. Okay. All right. I'll take care of it. That woman looks so... All right, baby. This is it right here. Pull over. Okay. I want you to stay right here and lock the doors. I'm going with you. No, Katie. You aren't. Let the police handle this, J.D. They can have him when I'm through with him. Nancy said he was violent. If you beat a woman, then he's nothing but a filthy coward. up and beat him, huh? Well, how does it feel, Hayden? I don't know what you're talking about. My wife and my best friend are dead. And you know who did it. And you're gonna tell me. I could keep this up all night, lover boy. Are you ready to make a deal? Go to hell. Uh, you talk, or I'm gonna carve my bloody initials in your face. No, not my face. Who is it? No. Who? God, no more. I tell you, I don't know his name. Where do I find him then? Ocean City. I swear I'm telling the truth. I don't know anything else. Don't know anything else. Don't kill me. I wouldn't waste a fucking bullet on you. Ah. Barbara Sullivan. Good evening. Several murders dominate tonight's news. Popular local photographer Gerald Hayden was shot and killed in an attempted robbery of Sutter's Mill Saloon by two men armed with shotguns. 
and a bizarre murder-suicide leaves three men dead in a downtown bar. Witnesses... It was necessary. You killed them? It's a war, Katie. Were they responsible for Julie? They were involved. Listen, Katie, things are really going to heat up now. I want you out of it. You need help. Can you handle it? Yep. All right. I want you to go down to the coast. And I want to see if you can locate this slime. But Katie, don't get too close. <laughs> don't worry. I've got some business to take care of, and I'll meet you down there tomorrow. Bea, be careful. This lady's a direct link to the top man. Our intelligence indicates he's one of these three. Good day. Hey, Colonel. What do you want me to do with him when I find him? That's entirely up to you. Hey, thanks for helping, Tom. The boss told me. I didn't want to. Oh, yeah? Great. That Johnson guy must have some clout. The colonel? Yeah. Did you get tied up with him? He was my commander in Nam. He was brilliant. He devised hit and run operations, diversions, while something big was cooking somewhere else. So what the hell are you doing? All I know is you're looking for something. The people who killed Julie. You've got to be kidding. You want to die young or something? Who's going to look after your daughter when they kill you? Were you always so fucking negative? I can handle myself. You're biting off a lot here. Let the police handle it. It's in my hands, and I'm going to follow through. At what cost? It's them or me. And what about your daughter? I'll still be here for her. Not if they kill you. Go to hell. How much longer? Ocean City, coming up. Suppose you want me to radio for a car. No. I sent Katie ahead. He's picking up. Hi. Hi. How's it going? It's all right. You been followed? I don't think so. I looked all over. This guy has an import company downtown. Good. You didn't try to talk to him, did you? No, I stayed away, like you said. Take a ride, Katie. <laughs> the town's the other way. We're being followed, Katie. What do I do, J.D.? Nothing. We'll let them make their move. Don't you want to try and lose them? I really don't think we can, Katie. There's only two of us and a whole shitload of them. Let's take them someplace where we have the advantage. You're doing fine, Katie. Just keep driving. What's that? A very large gun, Katie. Katie, you do exactly what I say on the next this. Okay. Take it slow and easy. But when I say run, do it and don't look back. Stay calm.
seen anybody kill before. That's three. Come on. Pick up the garbage in the morning. That's the building, right there. He's not going to be here for a couple hours yet, though. Good. What are you doing? J.D.? You wake me when he comes. What? J.D., wake up. He just walked in. How'd it go? You're alive. You're right. There was a heist. A woman was killed. I want to know who was responsible. That I'm afraid I can't tell you. You're gonna have to try harder than that. All I know is what the lady who pays me wants me to know. Is that her? Good. I knew this had happened someday. I've been with this group for about two years. I don't know who runs it. They tell me what to do and pay me extremely well. Do you recall the dilemma that Roman citizens faced when disgrace and death was their fate? Mm-hmm. Now I'm in that situation. I gotta think of my family. Very touching. Where do I find the lady? You made the choice, pal. I'm not getting anywhere, god damn it. I want you to head back to town, okay? I'm gonna be at this address. And I'll probably see you in about a day. Take care. Hey, I see they didn't kill you yet, huh? Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, don't mention it. So, what's the scoop? Nothing. Not a thing. They're a tight-lipped bunch. So how much longer are you gonna let this go on? Until it's done. Look, you got a plan or what? <laughs> what do you mean, a plan? I thought so. Go in with your guns blazing, man. You are not gonna get anywhere. You gotta be subtle. Oh, yeah, you know all about it, right? Yeah, yeah. You're full of shit. You gotta think, J.D. You get angry, and you will blow the whole thing. They use violence on Junlee. It's 
only right they get it back. That is stupid. You're just gonna get killed. Maybe. But I'm gonna take a lot of them with me. And who will take care of your kid? Julie's sister, Annie. And Katie. And me. <laughs> we'll see. And he committed suicide. Excellent. Obviously, he was forced to reveal his involvement in our association. Heading south. Hello? Angel, my dear. And how are you on this lovely day? Hello, sweetheart. Are you coming to see me? No, my dear. Although I miss the pleasure of your company, alas, this is purely business. You will have a gentleman caller. This man is trying to <laughs> eliminate our organization. That circumstance has been different. I'd like to have a dozen of his type. So don't take him lightly. He must be eliminated at all costs. You do understand. Yes, lover. Don't fail me, my dear. Have I ever? No. Will you come and see me soon? Of course. Very, very soon. You catch a couple hours sleep. I'll be back. Yeah. Don't let anybody hang around, huh? Things are getting a bit thick. Hey, I can handle myself, all right? That's more than I can say for you. Just go on thinking that, pal. You're the violent one. J.D. Blackman. Yeah, that's right. Oh, we're quite alone. I don't care for violence myself. Maybe a little in the boudoir. Though very controlled. So, here's to you. Don't you care to drink with a lady? I don't see one. All I see is a greedy slut. I'll ignore that remark. It's obvious you're distraught over the loss of your wife. Listen, bitch. I didn't come here for small talk. You're involved in a secret organization, and I want names. That's ridiculous. A secret organization. Drink up and enjoy. And maybe later we'll talk. You better give me some answers real quick or I'm gonna shove that goddamn glass down your throat. <laughs> you killed several of my friends. <laughs> I wish they could see you crawl. As much pain as you're in, I find that much oh. pleasure. Uh. Uh. Men think they control women. Uh. Oh. your fight. Uh! No stamina. You bore uh! me. Uh! I'll kick both your eyes out. Uh! And then, right 
there. Come on, get up. You're lucky. I just can't bring myself to kill a woman. Not even a bitch like you. slow around here this time of year. Cab business really, really suffers. And you should be back during the summertime. Action really picks up. Okay, man. I want you to stop. But the airport's up a couple more blocks. I don't give a goddamn. Do what I tell you. my keeps. Can't take it, huh? I've had it. Next time you do something like this, you take a bus. <laughs>
speak. Carver here. This Blackman character has severely damaged our organization. He must be disposed of immediately. No problem. Count on it. He may have passed on details of the organization. I want to know what he's found out and who he might have talked to. This must be done immediately. Take it easy. I'll send a good man. Don't let this black man put you back in the hospital. Spare me the details. Take care of it. Annie? Cat? J.D.? God, you look terrible. Where's Cat? She's out in the backyard playing. Okay. What happened? Two men. They... They shot at me, J.D. <laughs> Shh. You're safe now, babe. You okay? Yeah. I scared him off. You okay? I feel like I got run over by a dump truck. I gotta take a shower. Can I come with you? I'm not ready for that yet. But when I am, you'll be the first one to know. Who is it? The courier service sent me. Uh, Mr. Blackman is expecting me. Where's the kid? Who are you? Shut up. JD! 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 Oh, God! JD! They're after cat in the backyard! Go! Son of a bitch! Well, doesn't look like uh, you need to put your hands up or anything. You leave my daughter out of it, man. She's got nothing to do with it. Oh, why do I need your daughter? I got you. <laughs> get, get out of here now! All right, man. I'm tired of playing fucking games. I want to know who the head of the operation is. <laughs> I just came in to rob the place. I don't know what you're talking about. I just want to make the a pictures. few bucks. That's the only operation I know. Okay, man. You know him? Huh? Is he the one? I want some answers here. Is that the one? Hmm? Talk! Come on, you bastard! I want information now. I'm gonna break your neck if I don't get some answers quick. That's the guy, J.D. That's your Mr. Big right there. Nah, here. nah, I never saw any of these guys in my life. I don't know who he is. Bigelow. Magnum Corporation. Know him now? Nah, I've never seen him before. One more thing I want to know, man. I want to know who killed my wife. <laughs> you. You killed your wife. You stinking son of a bitch! Bigelow! Bigelow! Oh. Bigelow did it! Ooh. I can take it to him! JD, no! Don't kill 
kill him. We got what we're looking for. This guy's the key. Okay, Slime. You're taking us to your boss. That's the house right there. Any guards? Just a handyman. You can walk right up to the door. Nope. All right, Katie. If you hear any gunfire, I want you to shoot this son of a bitch and get out of here. No, you can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. All right, man. Maybe you want to tell the truth, huh? There are three guards. No one gets in unless I got Bigelow's permission. Well then, maybe I better take you in with me, huh? No, no. They'll kill both of us. I've only been in there a couple of times and only when I'm told to. All right. <clears throat> Looks like I go in the hard way. I want you to wait here ten minutes. If I'm not back, I want you to kill this son of a bitch anyway and leave here without me. It'll be a pleasure. You heard the lady. Did you hear anything? Yeah, there's something down here. I'll check it out. I assume you stopped the intruder. Of course, it was Mr. Blackman. Dispose of the corpse, will you? You assumed wrong, asshole. I rather admire you, Mr. Blackman. You've caused a lot of mischief. But the damage is very easily corrected. You don't know how bad I want to pull this trigger right now. I believe you came here for this, Mr. Blackman. Seventy-six million dollars. I don't give a damn about the money. I'm not the one that's greedy. Greed. Preposterous. You don't understand. This is power. Power over people like you. Grubbing on a pittance, nine to five, over and over again without question. You remind me of little ants. The case. My people were unable to defeat the detonators. Open it. I'll make you a rich man. I'll give you a million. Five million. Open it. It's more money than you'll see in your entire lifetime. You open it, Bigelow. Dare you toy with me? 
The explosion will bring the house down on our heads. All right, Mr. Blackman. You're in control now. Open the case. No. Fool! Idiot! I demand... You power-hungry son of a bitch! Don't you die on me! I want the pleasure of killing you myself! Colonel, it's all over. I got the bonds. Is the shipment intact? Yes, sir. I'm staring at 76 million. You did well, J.D. You taught me everything I know, sir. Yeah, of course. Fine. Who's responsible, J.D.? Bigelow. There's only one problem. The bloated bastard died. Excellent. I, uh... I want to verify that uh, delivery. Be in my office in an hour. My assistant will give you the directions. Yes, sir. You're late. Colonel, I think we need to talk. We'll go to my office. No, sir. What are you doing, Sergeant? I'd just like to know about your involvement in the organization, sir. You're slipping, J.T. It took you far too long to figure it out. You don't deny it, then? No, I don't deny it. Shoot him with his own gun. Make it look like a suicide. Dump the body in the river. He'll move his van later. Uh, he's waking up. Welcome back, J.D. You son of a... Shut up, Blackman. This is the end of the line. Oh, sorry I had to get involved in this power play. But that's the game. A game, Colonel? This is all a game, huh? More than a game. Bigelow made a lot of tactical mistakes. He was a second lieutenant when a general was necessary. I corrected that situation. And my situation, Colonel? Yours. You're a soldier. A pawn. Oh, yeah. And pawns are always sacrifice. Him, too? Carver. He's a company man. Power's his motivation. He's well paid for it. You're uncontrollable, J.T. Make it quick. You can't open that case without me, Colonel. Get moving. He's gonna kill you too, you know? Shut up. You aren't gonna make it through the night, man. I should have killed you before. The Colonel stopped that. Now you're dead.
Let's see you walk away from that one, Colonel. before I splatter the kid's brains. You let him go, Carver, then I'll come down. Now! Blackman, on your stomach and crawl. You let the kid go, Carver. Why? Because I can take you to the bonds, that's why. No way, Blackman, the bonds were blown up with the car. No, 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 no. See, I hit him before I met with the colonel. Now you let the kid go, and maybe we can make a deal, huh? 50-50. Maybe we can make a deal, but first you crawl. Do it! That's it, crawl. All right, that's far enough. Tell me about the bonds.
Nick Papadopoulos, private eye, hired to catch a blackmailer. Let me guess. You got drunk one night, someone took some pictures of you with those beautiful legs spread wide. Beaten. <laughs> Seduced. Do you like them, Nick? You can sort of see through them, they're so thin. Framed for murder. John Leslie, Cameron Mitchell, Lisa Trago. It's called passion, lust. Oh my God. Suspense. You're really going to ruin everything I have. And blackmail. But mostly, it's called murder, baby.